Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to update your Corsair Assistive firmware on Windows 10. So first of all, we have to go to the start button here and then scroll down and go to the Corsair Assistive toolbox and click on the app. So after you have opened your Corsair Assistive toolbox, um, you will see the uh, window like this and you can see your model number minus uh, force MP510 and the serial number too. Uh, I'm probably going to blur that out and the firmware version that we are going to update right now so currently we have ecfm uh, 22.5 now uh, if you want to update your firmware version uh, you have to click here on this uh, play button um, beside the firmware update and you can see uh, there is an available uh, version which is the ecfm 22.7 we have 22.5 so yes uh, we can update this and uh, to update it, uh, we have to click here on the download. So now it's downloading new firmware. So it is saying it is strongly recommended that you completely back up your drive before performing a uh, firmware update. Okay, so whenever you're uh, performing a firmware update, you should back up your data. But uh, it's not an issue, I don't think so, uh, unless your update process is interrupted so please make sure you're you're not doing anything else we are updating your firmware so we are going to click on apply all right so the firmware update has completed and uh, it is saying to turn off the pc completely and uh, to apply the update for firmware so um, we can uh, click here and shut down uh, i will not do it right now i'm going to close the app uh, so right now you have to shut down your computer and uh, save any other work you have and let the update complete its installation. So I have restarted the computer and now we are going to see uh, if our firmware has been updated or not. So what we're going to do is open our SSD toolbox again. And uh, well, let's see. Yes, we can definitely see our firmware version has been updated to uh, 22.7 previously it was 22.5 so we have successfully updated our firmware version and i hope you are also able to update your firmware version too so thank you everyone for watching this video and if you think this video was helpful to you please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video and i will see you in another video goodbye